I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make bell pepper salsa. So there are all sorts of ways you can make salsa. It doesn't necessarily have to be tomato based, and today we're going to make one that's bell pepper based. So speaking of, here are my ingredients. I have one bell pepper that has been clean, de-seeded, and chopped. I have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of um, dried chili flakes. I have one tablespoon of fresh chopped basil. I have three cloves of garlic, minced. I have six green onions that have been thinly sliced, mostly just using that white part. And then I have salt and pepper that I'm gonna add into taste. Now this is a salsa, so it's a raw dish. We're just going to add everything into this bowl, toss to combine, and we're gonna enjoy. So let's start by adding in our um, bell pepper. Pop that in there. Then we're going to add in the green onion, all this beautiful green. If you're having like a St. Patrick's Day party or something, this is like definitely a green theme, go with this salsa. Um, then we are going to add in the garlic. Just give that a little help, scrape that out. Onto the basil, beautiful basil. Little bit of spice here with the chili flakes. I'm gonna give this just like a little toss, toss, toss. Do a little pepper. And this is certainly to taste. Um, you know, after you mix it all together, you can kind of check it out. Do you want a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, maybe a little bit more bite, you can add in more chili. The thing with spicy ingredients is you can always add more in, but it's really hard to take them out. So go in gently with it. Okay, let's give this a toss, and then we're just gonna add in our apple cider vinegar, and we're good to go. Something to note, you could certainly eat this right away, um, but anytime like with sauces, stews, dips, and salsas, it's really best to let the flavors kind of like marinate, meld, marry, get to know each other, and create something totally beautiful. You could eat it right away, but you're not gonna have the benefit of all those flavors really mixing. I recommend popping this in the refrigerator and just letting it settle in there for at least an hour and then eat it, but it's really best if you can let it sit overnight. And there you go, really yummy, fresh, Totally easy bell pepper salsa. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.